Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, Happy New Month. It's been two months since I dropped a video on this channel, right? So yeah, I'm back right now. This is a new year. I'll be dropping content regularly as I God grants me grace, right? So now, um, I don't want to make this video quite long because this is the first video so far. So um, on in this this part this year, right? So um, I'm just gonna make it snappy. So actually here we have jump 10, volatility 10 in this daily time frame running for days now. This is the kind of where I took the trade, right? So we have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is the 8th day, right? The trade is running, right? So I'm just going to go straight to the point where I took this trade. Now I want you to understand something. I want you to, to get something from this video right now. So once you, I want you before you place a trade, once you go into the market, I want you to go to the higher time frame. When I mean higher time frame, I'm talking about the daily, right, or the four hour. I want you to get the bias of the market. I want you to know the the overall trend of the market, right? Once you know the overall trend of the market, you can then scale down to lower time frame to find entry. Now, once the lower higher time frame, the bias of the higher time frame is kind of bullish. Once you go down to lower time frame, every single pullback is a tradable opportunity for you to join the trade above to go in direction of the market because the lower time frame will always align with what the higher time frame, right? So finding this right now, um, so that's by the way. So why I took this trade, I discovered there was a resistance right here. Now, once there is a resistance right here, you don't just click a button and approaching a resistance or a support. Once the market is ready um, to rex, it's going to respect that zone. It's going to leave a pattern for you. It's going to leave a pattern. That pattern is what you then trade. Now, those patterns will have the double top, the double bottom, all of that, right? So, but it's going to leave a pattern for you. So, that's, that will signify that, okay, this zone, that point of interest, either being the support or resistance, is actually is actually um, strong to hold the market or to push the market the other direction, right? So now the market gets into that zone. What do I discover? There was a market. There was a market shift, right? So right here, this was um the higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. What really happened? The market failed what to break the market structure, right? To continue the market structure to doing what a higher high. Instead, it came to did what a lower low right here. Now I want you to understand. Whenever you have a double top, right? And the second leg is lower than the first leg. This signifies strength to the opposite direction. Like this is a real strength pushing to the other direction. It will show that, yeah, I, I really have the momentum to break what the neckline, right? So now this is a double top and this is a key zone, right? If I should shrink my screen, if I should zoom out the well, we are going to see in the past direction, like I showed you, this is a resistant bar, right? There's something really here. So this is a key area. So um this signifies that there is a strength there is strength to what to push to the downside now what really happened now if you are new to this channel please kindly hit that subscribe button hit that like button right now because um this year i'm going to be dropping awesome videos like this to help you maneuver your way through losses in forex so to minimize your losses if possible not get a loss at all because we I, we have taken the loss we have taken the loss sorry to say we've taken the loss and um um what really happened is that we're going to tell you what really why would that loss happen right so when it's trying to happen next you just have to scale up on our wings right on our experience so you won't take that loss again so that's the reason of this channel so what really work out i'm going to tell you and what does work, i'm going to really tell you right so um if you are new to this channel please kindly hit that subscribe button hit the like button you can share the video right and again, you can go follow me on Instagram because I'm very, very much active on Instagram where I post the before and after the trade, right? You see the patterns and what really, what I did, why I really took that trade, right? So I'm going to drop my Instagram handle in the description box, right? You can go check it out and follow me. When you get to the Instagram page, you're going to see what you're going to see. I'm sure you're going to like it and you're going to follow, right? So that's by the way. So let's just continue the video. Like I said, I don't want to make it kind of long. So now, this is now a break. 
this is a double top right and you know how we trade double top we trade it at the one some people trade the break of the neckline right here but well, i really trade the retest of it right so on getting to breaking this neckline i was anticipating for the market to you know come back to the neckline why am i interested in this place it's because looking past this was a point of resistance or you can call it a supply the market came here and what really happened there was a resistance a kind of a resist supply right here that took the market down now back to the upside so the supply you understand okay this is a demand right here or better say, let's just go with support and resistance to make things kind of simple so there was a resistance here thanks to add the support pushing the market up break before it breaks there was a reaction here you see there was a reaction here break with high momentum to rest with this support right here you can see it rest with this support right here kind of with this one if i should draw that let's do that right now so i'm going to do something like this right here yeah you can see right here so resting with that support so i don't like it much yeah resting with that support right here so what i will be waiting for now is for the market to do what come back to yeah so i have to delete this one so the market to i'm interested in this neckline right here so what i was waiting for the market to come back now um going down to lower time frame right waiting for the market to come back and you know this is now a new wave a new wave has started so we get the first touch second touch now sorry to say i'm trying to get it properly we get we trade the week right good so now you can see it right here we have the first touch we have the first touch right we have the second touch we have the second touch now the third touch right now happened within here right this is where the third touch happened now we have the third touch of the trend line as a conflict first of all we have the market sheet from an uptrend to the downtrend and break of the neckline so this is the neckline number two first is the market shift second is the break of the neckline and the retest of it third is what the third touch of the trend line and fourth and this was this is the support right this is the support remember in the past right this is a this is a resistance right this is a resistance a support the next low is what is going to be a support a resistance sorry if it happens to if it's in a going to an, an uptrend a bullish move right you are going to have it as a what a support a resistance and it's going to happen and to be a support again right so this is now a downtrend getting a downtrend move this is a resistance try to understand it a resistance to be a support the next will now be a what a resistance to go to the downside you can see right there so now this is where you apply any strategy you are using you're using the map map d you're using the stochastic you are using the rsi divergence whatever you're using this is where you you have to now get an entry right so i also have my own entry strategy if you want to know learn how i get my entry strategy you can um, message me on the instagram right you message me on instagram and you get things done right but this is where you have your as you can see i don't trade with indicators right so but this is where you have your or your strategy playing out right this is where you look out for your strategy now to join the trade to go downward now even though you are trading on the five minutes as long as from here to we break this um those um lower low right here within here every pullback is a tradable opportunity because the whole bias trade is what pointing downward now you can see the trade is running so right now what am i really waiting for you can see right now there is a kind of a consolidation right here so i'll be waiting for the market to do what to pull back into the zone right we're waiting for the market to do pull back into the zone you can see i have a sell limit stacked up there right there you can see i have a sell limit stacked up there so waiting for the market to pull back i'm probably i'm gonna see um before the market pull back so i'm gonna come check it out right if you're going to come to touch this trend line again you're going to come touch this trend line again so i'll have another touch of the trend line right here support right here fibonacci and this is where i will not get the entry strategy because no matter how your conflict the conferences you have your entry strategy is not good 
market is going to stop you out before going your way right so make sure you have a good entry strategy so that's by the way that's what i'm looking out for this trade to continue going downward if this video is anyway helpful to you kindly hit that like button hit the subscribe button like i said i am active very much on my instagram you want to follow my instagram page my handle is going to be in the description box whatever you feel about the video what um if you have a question you can hit comment below i'm going to answer you right here so if you want to connect with me i'm like i said the instagram handle and that's by the way thank you for watching the video and see you in my next video bye